Good day folks, um, this is the lesson on vertical projectile of motion but specifically in vertical projectile of motion we're going to look at the hot air balloon. Now one of the things that are important about the hot air balloon, hot air balloon is not in a free fall. What do we mean about um, that is not in a free fall? That means the motion of the hot air balloon, the force that is acting there, it's not only the gravitational force, there's the other force that is acting there. Now, let's look at um, the hot air balloon um, free body diagram. What are the forces that are acting there? We have a normal force. No, sorry, not the normal force. We have the force that moves a hot air balloon. The reason it's called a hot air balloon, there's a fire inside that prepares the hot air balloon to move up. So we call that force is a what? Is a trust. That's a force that moves an object upwards. And there's always a force that is acting there, which we call it's a gravitational force. And they are equivalent to those um, forces because the hot air balloon it's always moving at constant velocity that's another importance it's not in a free fall and it moves at what at constant velocity when it moves at constant velocity we mean the acceleration is what is zero which is the gravitational acceleration is equal to zero there now it says in the statement we're going to look at different scenario. This is the first one. It says an object is dropped. We know when an object is dropped, its initial velocity is what? Is zero. They can also use the word released. Now, is dropped from a hot air balloon that is ascending. When it's ascending, that means it's moving up at a constant velocity. Guys, you need to be mindful that an object that is dropped from a hot air balloon its initial velocity is not equal to zero if it's dropped from a hot air balloon. Remember, the hot air balloon is moving. It's moving at a constant velocity. And we say the constant velocity is going to be seven. So it simply means that that object is dropped. Its initial velocity is going to be what? Seven meters per second. Let's prove it by calculation. We can say um, initial velocity of an object is equivalent to velocity of the hot air balloon plus the initial velocity of the object which is the the, 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 the not the initial velocity the velocity in which it was dropped by dropped by so the velocity of the hot air balloon is seven but now we need to choose the direction we choose the hot air balloon is ascending we choose up as what as positive so it's moving at seven meters per second upwards which is it's going to be positive and this hot air balloon it's dropped so when it's dropped its velocity when it's dropped it's what it's zero so that means the initial velocity of the hot air balloon is going to be seven meters per second that means the seven meters per second is positive is going upward now the object that is dropped it's going to take this motion as it dropped it's going to because it's moving with the same velocity with the hot air balloon the object so when it's released it's going to continue with that motion but it decreases its velocity decreases decreases up until the velocity is what is zero there at the maximum point its velocity is going to be zero there and the velocity here decreases and then it's going to go down while it's going down its velocity increases 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 up until it reaches the ground its velocity is going to increase up until it reaches the ground with the final velocity that we do not know there right so the velocity here increases but it increases in a negative direction here is in, is, is is decreasing in a positive direction in conclusion the initial velocity of an object that is dropped is equal to the velocity of the hot air balloon when an object this implies when when an object or this applies when an object is released or dropped from a moving object they are always equal so the initial velocity of this object 
is going to be 7 meters per second. Okay, folks, let's look at the second scenario. An object again is dropped from a hot air balloon that is descending. The only difference from the above scenario, now the object is descending, it's still moving at a constant velocity, which is the acceleration is zero. Now, let's say this velocity again, it's seven meters per second. Now, since it's moving um, downwards, we have a choice. We can choose downward as what? As positive. So it's moving at a velocity of seven meters per second. So if the object is dropped on a hot air balloon that is moving downwards, the object will directly go straight down, right? The object will directly go straight down. Still, in this case, it's dropped the initial velocity of the object that is dropped is going to be equal to the velocity of the hot air balloon which is what which is what seven meters per second it's positive because it's going downwards a third case let's look at the third case a third case it says an object is projected or is thrown upwards so this object is thrown upwards in a hot balloon that is also going upwards which is ascending at constant velocity so they're going in the same direction let's say this object is thrown upward with a velocity it must be thrown with a velocity so this initial velocity that is thrown it's not equal to zero all the time when it's thrown or projected is not equal to zero so the initial velocity let's say here it's three meters per second and the 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 the, the hot air balloon it's moving at seven meters per second guys it's not going to always move at seven meters per second it's just my choice so this is what you do now so if it's thrown in 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 it's thrown um or it's projected upwards so it's going to take this motion the object is going to go up 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 and then and the velocity while it's going up it decreases so we choose up as positive so it's going to go up in a positive direction the velocity which is three meters per second will what will decrease up until the velocity there is what is zero and then it will go back again so this velocity it was thrown here it was what is a three meters per second which is the the initial velocity the velocity in which it was thrown it's not the initial yet and then when it returns to the starting point it's going to be what three again this velocity is going to be three but in a negative direction this one is was positive and it goes straight down remember all these um scenario it happens uh, the, th uh, the throwing or the dropping of this object at a height which is our height now it's what it's 200 meters per second so this is how we do the calculation we said the initial velocity of an object, we say it's equal to the velocity of the hot air balloon plus the velocity in which it was thrown by or the, the velocity to, in, in which it was projected. Remember, the velocity of the hot air balloon is going to be positive. The 7 is going to be positive because the hot air balloon is moving up and we chose up as positive. So it's going to be 7 and it was thrown upwards and we chose up as positive so it's going to be three so it was already moving at seven now there's an additional velocity in the same direction which is three so they'll make up a bigger velocity which is what 10 meters per second let's look at scenario four the object again is projected but is projected now downwards so if it's projected downwards guys it's going to go straight downwards the motion is going to go straight downwards so it's it's thrown downwards it's thrown downwards so by the velocity let's say the velocity is still three meters per second so it's three meters per second and we choose since the hot air balloon is moving up we choose to um, to say up as positive guys we have a choice we can choose up as negative and down as positive it's all up uh, it's, it's depending on you so now it's thrown up it's thrown downwards and the hot air balloon is ascending so they're moving in opposite direction so the initial velocity of an object is equal to the velocity of the hot air balloon plus the velocity in which it was thrown by so the velocity of the hot air balloon it's still seven seven 
So since it's moving up, so the 7 is what? Is positive. So it's going to be positive 7. And the object is thrown downwards. So since it's thrown downwards, so it's going to be plus this plus. Um, this is thrown downwards. So since downwards is negative, so it's going to be negative 3. So it's going to be 7. Minus 3 is going to be what? 4 meters per second. So the initial velocity of an object is 7 meters per second. It's 3. Sorry, it's 4 meters per second. Because the velocities are going opposite directions, so they will minus each other. Scenario 5, it's projected, or it's thrown upwards. So it's thrown upwards, but in a descending hot air balloon. The hot air balloon is going down. Let's say it's going down at 7 meters per second. But the object is thrown upwards by the velocity. Let's say the velocity is still 3, 3 meters per second. So we're going to choose, let's choose in this case, down as positive since the hot air balloon is moving downwards. Which is down as positive. So, um, so the 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 object will take this motion up, 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 and velocity zero, and it goes back down. So remember, while it's going up, it's going in a negative direction. So the initial velocity is negative, right? And the hot air balloon, the seven, is positive. So the initial velocity of the object. That is thrown, it's the velocity of the hot air balloon plus the velocity in which it was thrown by. So it's going to be what? Uh, 7 plus this plus negative uh, 3. So it's going to be what? 4 meters per second. I hope it makes sense, guys, because the hot air balloon, it was going down and the object is thrown upwards. Um, so it opposes the motion. So it will, the velocity will decrease by 3. It will be 4 meters per second. Right? The last scenario. Last scenario, it's also thrown um, downwards. The object is thrown downwards. So it's if it's thrown downwards, it will just go straight down. And the hot air balloon is descending. Right? So the hot air balloon is descending. It's still descending at 7 meters per second. It's still thrown at a velocity of what? 3 meters per second. So it was already moving at 7 meters per second and it's thrown downwards by 3 meters per second. So if they're going in the same direction, the velocity, they'll add up to a bigger velocity. So in this case, we'll choose down as positive. So both of those velocity will be positive. Initial velocity of an object, it will be um, the velocity of the hot air balloon plus the velocity in which it was thrown or projected. So it will be positive 7 plus positive 3 that makes 10 meters per second.